Gibbs. And here's a clean break being made by Benji Marshall. Here's Marshall. Now it's out to Collis. Now Marshall dances and he goes through. There he goes. The skills of Benji Marshall are not as amazing as the story of how we came to be watching them. At the end of 2001, he was on a school excursion from New Zealand, hosted by Kebra Park High School on the Gold Coast. He'd never played rugby league. So guys from Keeper Park asked if any of the boys could play league and you know never playing league before we all said oh not really but we play rugby and, you know, and they asked us if we wanted to have a trial game so just had a trial game and we I think we we carved up a Canberra elite squad and you know I just had a few touches put on a few steps and then they just asked me back on scholarship and that was me my mum sent me on the plane and packed my bags and said see you later. For Benji's mother, it was a wrenching decision. Not that life had offered too many choices until then. My family never had it the best growing up and there's not that many opportunities in New Zealand to, to do something good. And I think my mum just realised what happened to a lot of young kids back home is they all you know, just go to waste, all the talent just goes to waste. And she didn't want that to happen to me and she made sure I was gone. The footwork of Marshall. Benji Marshall is away for Kebra Park. Gone was the way many tacklers saw Benji when he was with Kebra Park. On the surface, it looked easy, but this tiny kid had left home at 16. I got homesick a couple of times and, you know, I always felt the urge to go, want to go home and I always just wanted to go back and see my little brothers and see my mum and... But I just had to tough it out and the times that I did tough it out, I think, just made me a stronger person. Greg Lenton is the coach of Kebra Park. He was Benji's rock in those lonely days at a foreign school. He was always the first to training, always the last to finish, always led the training. Uh, never had excuses, you know, um, just, yeah, he just put it all on the line, basically. A wall of defenders in front of him and he beats the defence with ease. Benji debuted for the Tigers on the eve of his HSC, earning honours in footwork and passing three unit maths. Much of his motivation was to reunite his family, bringing his mother and two younger brothers to Australia. Jordan is 13 and Jeremy 9. These two guys are special to you, aren't they? It's very obvious. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I'm just trying to make up for the four years that I've missed. You know, I've been in Australia for four years and I only got to see them probably once a year and that was probably the toughest thing. But you know, having them here is just the most important thing to me now and it's, it's definitely helping my football. But ownership of that step is in dispute. <laughs> Jeremy, did you learn that off him or just teach yourself? Oh, he learned that off me. <laughs> NRL coaches needn't worry. Growing up in New Zealand's Bay of Plenty, Benji learned how to beat more than just life's odds. Everything and everyone was a defender. That's what I used to do, just walk through town on a crowded day and just step everyone and just, you know. Oh, that's what I was known as back at home, the, the kid who just steps around town and just jumps around, yeah. So you'd be this far, say, from me? Like, yeah, I was just, just walking up the street and you're walking towards me and I'll just get my timing and just jump, scare them, go back through there, whatever, yeah. 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 He's wise beyond his years and tougher than his size, a breadwinner to his family who looks like a natural but knows the meaning of hard work. He makes it look like fun, but the best thing about Benji Marshall is that it's not all about him. Yeah, I'm just enjoying myself a, a lot more than I have lately. Um, I think it's got to do with the fact that I've got my family here as well and my two little brothers just, you know, they have a massive influence on me. They're, they're my mo motivation and the main reason why I'm playing at the moment. Because uh, when I was their age, I, I never really had much. At home, there was never very, really much at all and I just want them to have a life that I never had.